Welcome back everyone. Today we are going to do poem 3 from Hornbill English book class 11th. The name of the poem is The Voice of the Rain. It is written by Walt Whitman. This poem is a conversation between the poet and the rain. The rain explains its eternal journey and its birthplace does this earth to the poet. The voice of the rain. Let us under understand this poem stanza by stanza. So first stanza is And who art thou? Said I to the soft falling shower, which, strange to tell, gave me an answer, as here translated, I am the poem of earth, said the voice of rain, eternal I rise, impalpable out of the land and the bottomless sea. Let us understand the hard words. Who art thou means who are you. Eternal means something that is never ending. Impalpable, it is something which cannot be described. So, the poet in the above lines says that he asked the soft falling shower that who are you? To which the rain replied in a strange state of manner. The rain said that it is was the poem of the earth and it rose continuously from the land and bottomless ocean in the form of vapors. So the second stanza is Upward to heaven, winds, vaguely formed, altogether changed, and yet the same. I descend to laugh the draughts, atomies, dust layer of the globe, and all that in them without me were seeds only, latent and unborn. So, this stanza has more, many new words. So, we'll understand one by one. Whence means where. Vaguely, it's like not speaking clearly. Descend, it's simple. As we know, it means coming down. Live, it means washing or bathing. Atomies are just like atoms, small particles. And latent means something which is hidden inside. So let understand what this stanza tells us. The rain tells the poet that it rises upwards towards the sky in form of vapors where it changes its form. So it coldness into water droplets. It also says that although its form gets changed, it still remains the same. The rain comes down to wash the drought and provide water. It also washes away the dust and small particles from the earth's surface. And the seeds inside the earth, that is in the plants, grow because of the water provided by the rain. It gives life to the seeds. Now the th fourth stanza goes like, and forever, by day and night, I give back life to my own origin and make pure and beautify it. For song is issuing from its birthplace after fulfillment, wandering, wreckhead or unwreckhead, duly with love returns. So the word wreckhead or unwreckhead means whether cared or not cared. It doesn't affect the rain that if poet is someone listened to rain or not. That is the thing. So the summary of this stanza is that the rain says that by day and night it provides life, care, enrichment and water to the place from where it originated. The rain keeps enhancing the beauty and purity of earth by preparing a life cycle for itself again. The rain is like a song that originates from its birthplace, just like the heart of the singer, and travels to fulfill the earth's need and wonders. It finally comes back to the place from where it originated, whether it is ruined or not. It returns to the original position, 
with a lot of love to its birthplace. So, this is what the poem is about. It tells us about the eternal journey journey of rain, from where it originated, for the love of its motherland, the earth, and how it provides life unconditionally, without anything it wants. It gives everything to the earth. It says that earth is its mother. It will give everything back what he has taken. This shows how pure the rain is. Thank you. And if you want Hindi translation of the explanation of this chapter, then you can surely write in the comment box. Or if you want any other chapters, explanation in Hindi or English, again, you can write in the chat box. Thank you.